<laughs> Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. And don't forget, Illinois Pension Scam Book. It's available on championnews.net or Amazon. And this is the huge problem why people are leaving Illinois, Jack. But, Steve, during the break, we were talking about another, another huge problem, Medicaid. What Medicaid. is up with Medicaid with this Obamacare thing? Yes, it's unbelievable what they're doing. Uh, Mitch Daniels, the former governor of the state of Indiana, uh, came into a Medicaid system that was so bankrupt, so in the red, that no one knew what to do. Mm -hmm. And all Mitch did was say, let's bring in the private health insurers and let them bid on Medicaid business. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting people onto a broken, bankrupt Medicaid system, which kills more people than any other healthcare system, that's a proven fact, let's give them private health insurance plans and we'll subsidize them on a sliding scale. Mm -hmm. Those who make more money will get less premium support, right? right? Those who make less will get full premium support. Now they have the dignity to carry a health insurance card and they'll be treated the same way as anybody else who has health insurance instead of a bankrupt Medicaid system. Within a year's time, he began turning around the Medicaid program, and within two years, they were in the black again. State of Indiana. State of Indiana. Just, just south of the border. Unbelievable. Almost. So when Obamacare passed... They eliminated the goofy graph that's in the Medicaid program. Yes. You know, people set up storefronts and don't treat anybody. And they send the bills into the government. The it's government all fraud. is stupid fraud. enough to pay it. So he sends a letter dollars. to the Obama administration and said, listen, we looked at this Obamacare thing. You want us to add nationwide 17 million people onto Medicaid as is. That's going to kill a lot of people. It's going to cost us a fortune. Let us do what we did in Indiana. Let us reform Medicaid. Give us a waiver from Obamacare Medicaid expansion. Flatly denied. Right? Fast forward three years to the year 2013 where we are today. Mm -hmm. Mike Beebe of Arkansas asked for the exact same thing, a waiver from the Obamacare Medicaid expansion, let him do the same thing Mitch Daniels did, mm -hmm. immediately approved. Now, to give you an idea how ideologically bent this president is, the only difference between what Mitch Daniels was proposing and Mike Beebe were proposing were almost identical, but there's a letter behind their names that is different. Plain Mitch politics Daniels again. is a Republican, Mike Beebe is a Democrat. <gasps> so this administration is ignoring proven success to pander to favors to members of their own party at the peril of politics. their state's residents, at the peril of the indigent in their states. See, this is what's wrong with this administration. They're from Chicago, Chicago thug style politics. They're playing oh, politics certainly. with really what the people need. It is, it is pathetic. It should never be about party. It should be, what are your solutions? Do you have a proven record? Let's try it. Let's try it. See, and now the Obama administration is trying it. That's too <laughs> radical an idea to pass in Illinois. <laughs> right. Look, please, Illinois. They'll I don't never even... do it here. No. You know what? We do need some big changes in Illinois. Oh, a lot. Uh, it's, it's very sickening. Uh, uh, most people know I've started four businesses from scratch uh, right. with my own money and didn't borrow. Yeah. And uh, my own money when I started was $5,000. Uh, that was 50-some years ago and uh, more possible then than now. Uh, because why? Uh, uh, business has been trampled to death here in Illinois. Uh, all kinds Regulation. of people are leaving. The opportunities to do anything are going away because uh, people are moving to friendlier venues than here. Uh, also, the people that have money that might lend you money, well, most, most entrepreneurs aren't as squeezy tight as I am, and they get an investment. They get people to help them start a business. They yeah. expect to make a profit. Those people are leaving Illinois en masse. It's because of our high taxes. We're, 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 it, we're turning ourselves into a stinking pauper thing. That's it. Madigan and his daughter who can't find a crook in the whole state of Illinois <laughs> as attorney general. That's uh, almost comical. You know what? Mad we... Madigan ought, ought to wake up some morning and say, my God, what have I done, done to my wonderful right. state of Illinois? He doesn't care. Hey, Mr. Tucker, thank you for joining us today. My thank my you, pleasure. Jack. Hey, we're going to be back here next Sunday at 8 a.m. on AM 560, The Answer. We are Champion News Talk Radio, and we're your choice for the conservative voice. We'll see you next week.